Here's my uh, wood chip pile. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many cubic foot I have here, but uh, what happened was the power line company hires a, um, a crew to come by and cut down uh, a brush and uh, tree lit branches and stuff that might be interfering with the power lines. They take care of that, they grind it up, or they chop it up into uh, small uh, pieces with a wood chipper that they own and blow it into the truck and I had offered them, they were hauling it clear to a town and then using, dumping it into a pile in town, a large pile in town and then people could come and uh, uh, just get these wood chips for free. And I said, hey, you know, if you're in this area ever, uh, feel free to use my yard to dump it in. I'll uh, move it around and stuff. And I usually they dump it in my front yard uh, where I have the one garden close to that. And I'll just take and I'll, uh, whenever they dump a load, I'll just take and move it up with my skid steer. Uh, sometimes I've borrowed the uh, neighbor's uh, uh, truck to dump the wood chips in. And then I just take and drive the truck back here and dump it. They have, it has a hoist on it. But if you look at these, these have been sitting around here for probably about three years now, maybe even four since I first got them. I kind of like to let them break down in here. If you look at some of this, it is just, it's almost uh, turned into to soil. And uh, the whole idea behind uh, wood chip gardening is is to actually leave it on there i don't leave it on there generally because our soil is so and i guess if i had patience i'm sure it would change the soil quite a bit but i don't uh, a lot of people go away from the uh, back to eden garden uh, because of uh, it, it just doesn't seem to produce the plants like uh, regular uh, fertilization and all that good stuff modern fertilizers and stuff will do uh, and or, or organic fertilizers will do for uh, this is a great uh, method but uh, it just doesn't seem to get uh, if you watch videos and stuff for certain certain uh, gardeners just don't seem to get this to work right some do uh, I just uh, never had, and I guess I failed. I know uh, haters are going to hate what I'm saying here, but uh, I do think it is a great cover. And some of this stuff here that you see, if it looks like that, if it looks like uh, almost as dirt-like stuff, I'll just go ahead and just till it into the ground or let it sit on top. If you let it sit on top, the nitrogen in the air and everything is going to help decompose it. And yes, I will sometimes throw grass clippings into the into this, and uh, that just adds to the uh, the humus and stuff like that that uh, will end up in the soil eventually. But yeah, it's it's some good stuff. Uh, I I don't argue that. I don't like it when it it. Uh, ends up with some of these bigger sticks but eventually they'll break down too so that's my wood chip pile like I say I'm sure there's a good semi load or two in here of wood chips so I have uh, wood chips to go for quite a while I do uh, use these around the house I just keep adding every year and then actually that is um, probably the back to Eden garden that I have is around the house. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad here. It's starting to kick up again. I thought I'd get out earlier and get some video shot, but no, I guess it's, the wind's gonna blow. I hint the smell of skunk, so there must be a skunk nearby, so better watch it. So, the field out here is planted in the corn already. Things are progressing after all the snow we've had. It's amazing how things change. Hey, thanks for watching.